So for my The Chemistry of project, I chose to do The Chemistry of Jellyfish Venom. And now the first thing you need to know is how jellyfish sting in the first place. The tentacles of the jellyfish are actually called snidocytes, as regular tentacles are composed of muscles and tendons. The snidocytes are covered in microscopic harpoon-like structures called nematocysts with touch-sensitive triggers. These nematocysts can fire faster than the blink of an eye, and this is how venom is administered to predators or prey. Now jellyfish venom is composed of various toxins depending on the type of jellyfish, and these toxins are what causes the pain of a sting. However, the common component between all jellyfish venom is called porin, which is a protein made of long strands of amino acids, and this porin is what makes jellyfish venom dangerous to other animals, including humans. Now, this protein bonds to the membranes of red blood cells and makes them permeable, allowing potassium to leak out and be released into the body. This excess potassium is what causes the blistering on and around stings. This excess potassium also gets pumped through the heart, which will eventually cause cardiac arrest if enough potassium is released. This is due to potassium slowing down reactions between nerve endings, leading to irregular heartbeat and eventually